another hour or two and be like, okay, I'm gonna wait until more development. Like, how does that work? All right, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, this is a big one. Uh, are we, are we doing this? Are we going for it? I'm going for it. Let's do it. Wow, already? Oh, shit. What is going on here? Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's my mast. Um. Okay, I don't think we're going to get much more out of this. I hope we get some good loot from this, because this ship is one of the hardest we've fought so far. By far. There it is. Awesome. Great. The cult know the cult know where you are. There's no time to collect any salvage. You must leave quickly before Oh. So if the cult So those ships don't drop salvage. Oh. That makes me so sad. Okay, so in that case, if the cult, if those ships don't drop salvage, it's always going to be more advantageous to run from them. I don't see any reason why we'd want to defeat them at that point. Good to know, good to know. You're in your cabin surveying charts when you hear a commotion on deck. As you make your way there, you hear the sounds of fighting. You increase your pace, bursting through the door into open air and see several Halifron have boarded you? Halifron! Oh, shit! Um. Oh, nope. Yo, where's everyone else?
Death to the Halifron. There's nothing to do with their fiendish corpses except to cast them back into the way the waters they spawn from. Damn, that was close, man. We almost had multiple people die there. That could have been a lot worse. Uh, how do how do I how do I go back to where I was? Close journal. There we go. Okay, I want the, the I want this map. There we go, because I need to go repair our hull. Yeah, we're going up there. Cannot enter a port. Oh, shit. Okay. Whoops. Mistakes were made. Um, where am I going? Down there. Okay. If we get in a fight, we're going to be uh, kind of dunzo. So we better run from this if we can. Yeah, I agree, Bikeman. The overlapping NPCs. Mm -mm. Make for the gap between them both. Put your backs into it for dear life. You caught both ships unawares and seize the initiative. You and your crew be these again. You rele and relieved laughter ripples along the decks. Whew. Okay, good. Let's get to the next map so we can get to the next port. Oh god, they're about to dispatch a ship. How do how do I how do I use nitro? What's the button for nitro? It's usually B, but. Yep. Oh my lord. Oh my god, we have to pick? I I don't know. I don't know which one do I want. Uh, well, this one? It seems a cult has thrown caution in the winds since your departure. In the appearance of the Kraken, Halifron on land, blockading a port, their audacity galls you. You give up any hope of a quiet escape. Lying awake for hours, you rack your brain over how you can fight a deep sea creature you cannot reach. Fitful sleep finally claims you. An ancient, unfathomable consciousness bears down on you with terrible weight. Tentacles rise again, snatching at you, but now you can hold them off. You sense frustration and a curiosity from the consciousness at your newfound strength. A huge, gaping maw emerges from the blackness, ready to envelop you. A beacon appears in the hot, encroaching darkness before sinking beneath you and exploding in absolute illumination. The maw shrinks back with a roar. You sit bolt upright in your bed, taut with realization. If you can somehow hit the Kraken underwater, it may emerge and become vulnerable. But how? Consulting your charts, you remember the isle where the answer live. The answers live. Oh, look at this water. You call the crew to attention. We make for the Isle of Landfall. It's where the Empire used to keep their artificers. If anyone can help us fight the Kraken, that's where we'll find them. The Great Library at Landfall may help find answers. Go there and seek knowledge on stuff. The headache warns you something is coming. As the trails that surface in the water confirm your suspicion, Halifron incoming. Oh, dude, what? Oh, come on! We can check where the day... I, no, I can't move! Son of a dingus! Stop giving me... Stop it! Okay, great. Great. Available. Strike back. Okay, great. I got Halifron to deal with! You were not able to escape this time. You have to fight them all. I know! Because you... Halifron! My lord. 
Yo, these fights are kind of brutal. Ugh. Okay, leave combat. Whew! Does my ship have a mast? Uh, oh yeah, it does. Two ships are docked closely together. You think nothing of it until you see scorch marks and cracks in the smaller vessel and spy the crew tied to the mast. But then it's not too late. The larger ship clearly believe you. Uh, this, the larger ship clearly believe you wish to interfere and make to engage. Oh, son of a biscuit! Um. Oh God, I just remembered them in the wrong places. Oh, I'm making all the mistakes. All right, you two there. You're already there. Okay, everyone else is doing their thing. Good. Man, we're, this could be this could be real bad. We're almost dead. Um. Thum. Get those sails. Okay, we're almost in range. I want to do one more. So we go for the mass. Something just leveled up down there. Cool. All right, you go back to here. You fire there. Boom! Oh, man, we destroyed them. Woo! Beautiful. Wait, what about the other guys? Can we untie them? The captain tries to hold back his tears in front of his crew. We wouldn't have lasted much longer, he says, as he directs your crew to some of their choicest cargo as thanks. Awesome. Okay, now we really, really need to find a port. Um, like, really, really. This water's beautiful. Look, you see little dolphins and stuff? Oh, no, it's not. Wait, they can disappear and stuff? Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to... Man, there's so much stuff to do here. But I need to find a port. Uh, Persona 5 is tomorrow. Persona 5 is tomorrow. Yeah. We're going to finish Persona 5 tomorrow. Whew, it's been a ride. Are you still enjoying games like pre-streaming or has streaming the streaming job been made games more boring and routine? Um, that's a great question, but here's the thing, Gron Beer, uh, Gron, Gron Bajug. Um, gaming has been my hobby and I've done it pretty much every day of my waking life since I was, you know, 10 years old. Uh, I am a gamer through and through. So the idea of making my job my hobby has been not only amazing, but if anything, given me a deeper appreciation of what I do. So here, here's kind of the way I look at it. If, if a streamer, if somebody that likes video games starts playing games and starts streaming them and after X months or years gets tired of games, then maybe this isn't the dream job for them. Um, like it's the kind of thing where, I mean, yeah, you know, you can get tired of anything in excess, but there also get, comes to a point where, like, I feel like there's a fundal, fundamental appreciation of games that some people have and some don't. And some people are just like, yeah, if, you know, every so often a game comes along, I want to play and I'll stream it. And then other people are like, I want to actively seek out and play all the games I want to. And those are two very different types of people. So, it's, it's, uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a little bit weird. Um, but it's just the kind of thing where, you know, I've, I've, I live and breathe games, dude. Uh, I, I absolutely love them. So, I mean, for me, I, I, you know, I've been doing this every single day for over four years. I still wake up every morning and I can't wait to get on and play games with you guys. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, Drasuka, careers do not always equal passion. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's just, it's always kind of unfortunate to me when 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 somebody makes it big streaming and you can just kind of tell that they're not like gaming is something that they do for fun but they're not like they don't love it you know it's always because you know there's so many people out there that l that just live and breathe games like like i do you know those people are out there and um it's just kind of weird whenever whenever i'm kind of watching a big streamer and i just get that little feeling where i'm like I wonder if this guy really like I wonder if this guy plays games on his off time you know like I wonder I, it's kind of weird it's kind of weird because um, I do get that every so often and I and here's the thing I completely understand uh, you know people starting to stream getting super pumped about it and then eventually kind of losing that passion that happens in any job or any hobby I mean there, there's some people that just do it enough and uh, and they just kind of get interest in other things or want to try the things and more power to them um, but you know, there's some people that just kind of pick a hobby or passion and they just ride or die it for their whole life. And I kind of feel like that's going to be me with gaming. Um, so, anyway, that was way longer of an answer than you probably wanted, but there you go. Uh, the Port Beckons, a place where, you and your crew can, place where you and your crew can recuperate before setting back out onto the sea. Visit local shops to repair and upgrade your ship. Whoa. Fire cluster bomb? Bar shot? Stuns crew? Oh, these are cool. Well, I need to repair all for sure. That, that has to get done. Um, maybe I want one of these suppression guns instead of the chain shot. Let's give it a try. Um... Hmm. Basic crow's nest. Oh. That's pretty cool. Okay. Hmm. We can sell some supplies, but I don't... I'm, again, I'm not really sure what supplies are for yet, so I'm going to wait on that. See if they have any crazy cool ships. A man of war. I'll take, like, three of these to go, please. Oh. Warship's pretty sexy, too. Galleon. I need to start saving up for these. It looks like the max you can have is two swivels, two mortars, and a row of two rows of five cannons. I wonder if that's ever gonna get bigger. Cool. Okay. Do the big ones have bigger upgrade? No, they they all have like the same upgrade slots. That's kinda weird. Do any of them not yeah, everyone has exactly the same upgrade slots. Oh, yeah, no. No, no, no. Uh, Drakathar, I encourage backseat gaming on this channel. Many streamers don't like backseat gaming, and that's more than okay. It's just different ways of doing it. Uh, Latronus Live, thank you for the sub. Wessel Fun, Jap Paladin, Mr. Bullet, Jay Folo, Dreezer with the 44 months, Newfie, and Kimmin 500. Thank you all for your support, guys. Sorry it took me so long to get to those. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, so we're fully healed. Oh, I kind of want this, but... Mm, nah, let's go. We can go blow people up now. Let's do it. Let's go blow people up. Boop. Let's do some of these events. You spot a ship in the middle distance, the deck of bristle with lookout. Seems like this vessel has serious cargo on board. Boop. Oh, we gotta fix our crew. Our crew is totally messed up right now. There we go. Oh, we gotta put someone on this now, too. Yeah, our new gun. Wait, why is that guy on the other side of the ship? Uh, what's going on here? Here we go, here we go, check this out. Boop. 
cool. Would also be pretty cool if there were different victory conditions. Like if I could kill the whole crew without damaging the ship, if I could like sell the ship and stuff like that. That could be kind of awesome. This might kill him. Yep. Midnight salad with the 13 months. Thank you, Denix, for the 600 cheer. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. We also have Harain with the two year double sub. Thank you so much for that, Harain. Really appreciate it. That is awesome. And Mini Jack, thank you as well. The vessel sinks entirely, but leaves behind a few floating valuables as the as though the sea is offering you up its thanks. It's pretty fun. All right, we gotta do this real quick. Ship mode. Oh, if you if you do board them, you can. Ramming on getting on. Wait, wait, wait. Ramming and getting on board does give more coin. Das Hibbit. Hey, Co. Almost to two years. By the way, Hibbit Baby 2 is a girl. Congratulations, Das Hibbit. That's awesome. Congratulations. That is great. That is great. Mini Jack with the nine months as well. Thank you very much, buddy. Appreciate that to both of you. Thank you very much for your support, dudes. Uh, wait, aren't you? Let's put that there. Um, We're going to put you there. No, no, no. You're up there. You are there. You're there. You're there. Now we save it. And save it. Okay. There we go. Great. Right, let's go. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, I can't do anything until this hunt is done. Oh, shit. Um... Serpentine! Serpentine! Oh. Let's go. Go, go, go. I'm gonna try to run from these guys. Correction, I'm gonna have my way with them. Okay, here comes this guy. God, they're quick. Oh shit. He's a bubbly. He's a bubbler. We got one! Hell yeah. Three. Boom! Woo! Get him, boys! Oh, wait, they're already dead. Get that guy. Yeah! Alright, get back on our ship! Oh, oh, uh oh. What's this guy doing? Damn, it sucks that even if we board them, we can't collect salvage. That is a waste. 
All right, this side needs three of five. Let's go check the north side. What does this mean? Through your spyglass, you can see a ship in distress. It appears to have sustained battle damage and is taking water at an alarming rate. Intervene and help them. You pull up alongside the damaged ship and your crew rushes to help. While repairing damage, you hear the crew from the sinking ship explain how they were attacked. How the enemy must have saw you approaching and broke off. You turn, fearing the worst, and true enough, an enemy is bearing down upon you. Alright, dude. Ah! Damn! Whoa! Starting off with a bang. Alright, alright. Well, we are gonna get you. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Right there. Mm. Oh, it's out of range too. Okay. Well, in that case, you go get him. Bam! All the damage! Yeah, one thing that kind of sucks is if they're going away and we're going towards, since we don't have the chain shot, there's really nothing we can do right now. That kind of sucks. May have to figure out a way to get around. Or, you know, we can just kill them. That works too. Hey, Dante Shepard, what's up, buddy? PC Warrior, how are you? Lou Krogs with the two months and the last Seraphim. Thank you so much, buddy. And thank you for that tip as well. Good to know. With the battle over, you turn to look for the original vessel, which is already sunk beneath the waves. At least you didn't share their fate. You trawl the wreckage of both ships for salvage and move out. That's too bad. Wait, is my ship leaking? No, they repaired everything. Okay. Hmm. Oh, four of eight to go north. Damn. Okay. We gotta start knocking these out. Oh, you can escape the chase by sailing into a port? Great to know. Thank you. Great to know. How am I liking the game? It's very cool. It's very cool. I'm, I'm still very much kind of feeling it out though. But it's been a lot of fun so far. You sail close by a strangely empty looking vessel. On closer inspection, it does have crew, but they're all emaciated, emaciated and immobile. They must be starving. Give only what we're certain that we won't miss. Yeah, let's do that. Let's help him out. As you begin boarding your crew, you see a strange look pass briefly between a few of the starving crew. You announce your charitable intent. Moments later, the skeletal crew draws arms and charge, clearly desperate enough to try and relieve you of the supplies you withheld. You all drop the supplies onto the enemy deck and rush back to your own vessel. Wow. Wow. We just got penalized for trying to be a bro. Well, damn, I, I didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. It's two gunners and a captain, that's it. Oh, this poor, this poor crew. Oh! 
<laughs> that was pretty rude. That was pretty rude. This poor guy! This one guy! Oh, I have a leak back here, but who cares, right? With the enemy vanquished, you go about salvaging anything left of value. You think how easily the situation could have been reversed. I know, dude. I didn't even want to kill them. I was trying to help them. My lord, man. This game's rude. Let's go repair up real quick. There we go. Um, I do like the idea of a basic crow's nest. Although, do I have one? Oh, oh I think I have a basic crow's nest. Oh, okay, cool. I have a lot of the stuff already. I don't have lifeboats, but that's fine. Um... Mm. Okay, I think we're good. We'll just kind of save for now. Is there anything in the tavern we'd want? Wow! Yo, these guys are good. Oh, we need to save up for better crew. Oh, look, our guy leveled. That's what the level must have meant. Yeah, this guy leveled. Oh, he leveled up in guns, too. Hell yeah. Our captain's leveled, too. Badass. What does increase morale do? Increase morale by spending money in the tavern? Yay! Oh, it's up here. Current shipwide morale status. I wonder what that does. Huh. SDS is good to see you, man. Um, so, how do I... Uh, let's go back to C. How do I save... Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, we are going to continue this adventure another time. I'm sorry I can't stay longer, guys. But I have a, uh, a pretty important business-related meeting in 10 minutes, and I need to go for the day. But I want to thank you guys for being here for our first look at Abandoned Ship. Um, this is a really cool game. I like this. I like this game. A lot of customization, some pretty cool tactical combat, um, some very interesting new mechanics and systems that I haven't seen before, a uh, relatively engaging story, some great writing. I'm really digging the writing. And... Um, yeah, this is cool. This is another game kind of like Dead Cells that I think we're going to be following pretty closely as it develops. Pretty pumped about this. So uh, thank you guys for being here for it. That being said, um, I think I will play this alpha a little bit more. I feel like there's a lot that we haven't seen yet. So um, although tomorrow is going to be KCD and Persona 5, we may go back to Persona or uh, we may go back to this game on Sunday because um, I haven't yet decided when we're going to start our Yakuza 0 playthrough. Because that's going to be after Persona 5, which is tomorrow. Um, but anyway, again, thank you all so much for being here. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. EST for a full morning of main quest focus KCD. And then tomorrow afternoon, we begin our Persona 5 finale. Uh, probably about four to, probably, well, three to five hours left in the game. And it should be pretty awesome. So, hope to see you there for it. Um, also, we may be going ahead. That music, though. Uh, we may be going ahead tomorrow and also announcing when we start the Yakuza 0 playthrough. We're, well, actually, you know what? Let, let's see if we finish Persona 5 tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic we'll finish it, but never say never. I've learned. Never say never. Uh, but anyway, guys, again, thank you so much for being here. At the buzzer, we had Uncle X, almost four years, dude. The last Sarah from Dante's Inferno with a thousand cheer. Nikos getting a free sub from Zerlis. Thank you for that. And yay, little pony with the new sub. Really really appreciate that dudes all right my friends i am out of here keep your eyes right there for the outro video right there for the credits the end stream credits big thanks again for all that and i hope to see every single one of you here tomorrow for kingdom come deliverance main story and persona 5 well ending see you guys then bye bye